What's going on everyone? Jake here again. Well, I've managed to pick up another project, except this time it's a little different. It's not for me, and I will not be keeping it. Um, so a couple days ago, uh, a family member managed to go off the road in her car and right into a tree. And uh, trees don't like to move, especially big ones. <laughs> so, uh, Really unfortunate. She had just gotten her car back from the shop, had a bunch of work done to it, and and then this happened. I think she hit some ice or something. She said she's not sure, but you know, once you, especially in a front-wheel drive car, once you get into a you know get into a slide, there's just really not much you can do. You're you know, no matter what way you steer, or hit the brakes, you know, you're you're going. Um. So, yeah, that so that happened and. uh she didn't have anyone really to, to help her assess the damage or, you know, to even make repairs on it. So I figured, well, you know, family's got to stick together. I'll help her out. So I went yesterday and picked the car up and brought it back to my place. And uh, we're going to start tearing into it and see what all it needs and start making repairs. So let's go take a look at it. Okay, so here we have, I think is an 08 or so. Uh, Chevy Impala and it is the the flex fuel model um, but anyways you can see the damage here right in the front and when, when I saw the pictures of it, it didn't look that bad but when I got there and looked at it I was like wow it was a lot worse um, but it still runs and drives. I drove it on the trailer. She actually drove it home after she had hit the tree. Um, but yeah, so it's going to need, definitely going to need the hood, the bumper cover, and probably the actual bumper. I don't know if you can see. There you go. It's crunched in. Uh, let's say I couldn't get the hood open. I'm probably going to either have to pry it or cut it open and uh, see what other damage is underneath. Um, but overall, it looks like it should be a pretty... Pretty easy, pretty quick. You know, just run to the junkyard, get some parts, throw them on, good to go. Um, and also, I want to give a shout out to my awesome friends Matt and Steve over at Interactive Metals for the awesome work they did on my trailer and my truck. I just got them back yesterday. I've been without them for about a month or so. Um, but <clears throat> I've got a new jack on the trailer, new plugs. They've rewired this whole winch, all new, nice cable. What else do they do? Oh, they fixed my fenders. They were they were broken. They welded the fenders up. They're not flopping around anymore. Uh, I put new shackles and bolts on. Let's see. Oh, new cable on the winch. It got tore up. This bracket back here was bent. And got it straightened out. So, yeah. Awesome job they did. Very grateful to have them around. But, yeah, so right now, we're going to go ahead and get it off of here and pull it in the driveway and see if we can get this hood open. Okay, so I think our first step is going to be maybe clawing this grill out of here so we can see better what's going on with the hood latch. Um, so I've got just a flat bar. I'm trying to see if we can pry this out of here. Might be able to just do it by hand.
putting up a little bit of a fight. plastic support in behind the grill. There's the hood latch. There's no way it's gonna work. Hmm, alright. So I guess. Time to break out the sawzall. I got the saw, I removed, there's two bolts, there's one here and here, I was holding that, so I took those out, I'm going to go ahead and cut it, it's already broke right here. taking the bolts out. So let's try that. Okay. So we've got some junk out of the way. Got the bolts pulled off of the hinge. It's just dangling. Uh, I pulled the cable out. So let's go hood go hood. Go let's go hood and open the head. No. Go ahead and open the hood. Okay, so as we can see, looks like this did get pushed in a little bit, but not terrible, not a terrible amount. I'm wondering what's going on here, why is that all crooked? They're both pretty crooked, maybe that's just how they're, that's just how they are, that might be fine. Um, see the headlight. I guess is okay. Looks kind of beat up, but it's not, you know, it's in place. So headlight might be reusable. Um, let's get to looking over here though. Say obviously this whole bumper bar is pushed in. And as a result of that, it's bent the ends of the frame in on both sides. Let's sort of see it in there. And then also, down here, you can see the hole uh, underneath the radiator support is bent up pretty good. Um, so, right now I'm not sure. Until I get some more stuff out of the way, get this bumper off of here the rest of the way. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if it's uh, going to be fixable or not. I mean, I'm sure it's fixable. I just have to, you know, just make it work. Do some hammering and prying and straighten some stuff out. 
Uh, this is my biggest concern is getting this off of here and putting a new one on because I say both ends of the frame where it bolts to are bent in pretty good. And you see this is this is bent up here too. This this here. Um, well, so let's get this bumper cover off of here. And see what's up. Okay, so it was a little bit of a hassle. End up taking the wheel off and the inner fender plastics out so I could get this off. So I can remove that. That works. Okay. And I removed that headlight. Probably gonna remove that one as well, just to get it out of the way. So, so this side doesn't look too bad, but definitely, I mean, this whole end right here is all bent in, as you can see. I mean, it broke. It's got two spot welds, and it broke them right off. <clears throat> So that's definitely an issue. And then I got to looking at this some more from the side, and I realized it's a lot more bent than I thought it was. Uh, this side over here, see it? It bent. It did bend the end of the frame in, but it might be it might be able to straighten it out, and make it work. Um, but yeah, if you look. If you look from over here you can see I mean this whole this whole end is bent and I realized too that both of these bars are bent up these crash bars I guess whatever they are and let's say the engine mounts are both crooked uh, the radiator and everything's pushed in quite a bit I mean the radiator hose is up against the battery right now so well, that's not a good thing so I'm not sure I'll probably uh, have a couple buddies look at it and get their opinions <clears throat> and uh, decide what to do next so that's gonna be it for this video uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments um, is it repairable is it not should I give up you know uh, what should I do uh, I, upon further inspection, it, uh, the, core, the whole core support is all bent and crooked and just out of whack. So, I mean, really the right way to do it would be to, you know, drill all the spot welds and get that out of there and put a new one in. Um, you know, I don't know if that's something I'm up for doing. Or, you know, maybe we can just straighten it out and, you know, just make it work. Um, to where, you know, she'll be able to drive it and it'll be fine. Um, so, yeah, uh... Let's say, let me know what you guys think. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and have a good one.